We are here to play a game you may have heard of. Roger the Ringo, it's bingo. Jabari, are you ready for bingo? I'm ready for bingo. Look. Okay, so are you ready for Ewok special bingo, though? Uh, I'm always ready for Ewok special bingo. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we have a solidarity busting bingo card. It is extremely important for every worker to know that the things that you hear are the things that bosses say across this entire country. We're a family. Not true. Not a family. Pizza party. <laughs> not worth it. Yeah. We'll Give go through the different things. things. <laughs> we'll go through the different things, you know. Yeah. Um, but we'll you see. can find all of these terms um, from Solidarity Busting Bingo at Ewoks Organizing Guide, which is at workerorganizing.org. Mm -hmm. So workers have used this very guide in meetings to show their solidarity with one another and show their bosses that they already know the playbook that they're going to be playing by. So Jabari, can you show the people your card? So here's the card again. Look, you got so many things. Uh, it's, you know, small pay increase. Yay! <laughs> Um, so uh, you can go there um, to workorganizing.org, like Zoran said. But also, if you're watching, um, you know that means you're RSVP. You should have gotten it in your email today from uh, from Ewok. So I want to introduce next our special, our very special, our incredibly special Bingo Master guest. Django Gold is a writer and comedian who has written for The Onion and The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. He is also a stand-up comic who regularly tours the country dispensing laughs and good times. Welcome to Django! Let's go! Hello, Ewoks! What's up? What's, 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 what's shaking? I wish we had a filter for that, like an Ewok filter. Yeah, you guys, you guys should get an Ewok-centric uh, visual theme, and then George Lucas can see you into the ground. That's the that's the plan. That's how I plan on ending my political career. George George Lucas will be the ATST that just rampages through your treehouse. <laughs> What's going on? We're we're hyped. Are you ready for tonight? I'm so ready, man. I'm so hyped. I'm really excited to play Ewok Bingo. So, yeah. sorry, solidarity yeah. Bustin Bingo. Exactly. Yes. And we have, I think, a couple other special guests that. You yeah, this, this 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 program is chock a block with special comedian guests who have contributed to the night, and they've all made hilarious, uh, informative videos that'll help us play bingo. So, uh, you know, I think some of the people in the audience, I believe, have been given uh, bingo cards. So, as we watch these videos, you guys just gotta check your cards, see if any of your squares come up. And if they go through, and then win a special prize. I don't want to give it away, but it's an Ewok hat. It perfectly matches what? the Ewok jumpsuit. Yeah. You'll be in heaven. You'll be the coolest guy at the at the uh, at the union meeting. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, are, are you guys ready? Should we get right into these bingo I'm, scores? I'm, I'm, I'm ready, ready to get this hat. All right. If you guys are ready to try to win that sweet sweet hat, our first video comes from a, a a pair of comedians. Their names are Morgan and Kemp. They don't even get last names. The man took them from them, man. That's what we're fighting for here. Last names. Roll the clip. Morgan, I'm queuing up episode three. Do you have any, like, yummy snacks or anything? Yeah, I'm actually cutting up some of that pear. You want some? Oh, yes! This is the clue for quick fix. Mm. Quick fix. Quick fix. <laughs> Everyone, mark down quick fix that he got on your bingo card. I don't. I don't have quick fix. I got it. Ooh. Bingo. It's literally, it's literally quick fix. Uh, was it say new, new curtains toaster? New toaster slash curtain. Oh yes, I got quick fix. I got quick fix. Hot damn. All right, it's anyone's game, I guess. Wow. All right. All right. Competition. I want this hat. <laughs> you got to get the hat. Uh, second video is from a man by the name of John Early. Fun fact uh, he's the most famous person on this list of comedians and doesn't really have to do this, but he still did. Roll it. Hey, Morgan. 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 Hey, Morgan
<laughs> What's up you guys? This is John Early, proud DSA member. I got some work recently, still waiting for it to relax a little bit. Just kidding. Um, okay, so here is one of the many union-busting texts that Amazon sent to their Alabama employees daily earlier this year. Okay. <clears throat> a word from the BHM1 leadership. We are a winning team and we believe working together directly is most effective. <laughs> don't let outsiders divide our winning team. We don't believe that you need to pay someone to speak for you or that you need to pay dues for what you already get for free. <laughs> Uh, this is for the bingo square. Give us a chance to fix things. Wow. Fix things. That was that was a gross email to read. Yeah. That is wild. Is Wait, so can I just clarify, Django? Yes. Bingo is when you get it all in a line, either horizontally or vertically or diagonally? I believe that's how it works traditionally. Yeah, you got to get five, okay. five in a row. Okay, I'm too deep. Too deep. I'm, listen, yo, it's I'm I'm too in as well. We uh. Oh my gosh, this is this is down the wire. This is right. a nail biter. <laughs> All right, so if anyone has, give us a chance to fix things ourselves. Mark that down. Of course, when they say fix things, I mean you know fire you and get someone who's less troublesome in your place. They'll fix it up right nicely. That being said, I think it's time for our third square. It comes from Julia Claire. Hit it. Hi, for this bingo square, check out this old school anti-union video for Walmart employees. I also love that the people in this store are like a second family to me. We really pull together to take care of our customers and each other. It's not just a place to get a paycheck. No matter how big the company gets, this place is special to us. It's special because of the people. And we all work here for different reasons. I guess that's what our founder Sam Walton had in mind from the start. Yes, I'm quite sure that wage theft was what John Walton had in mind from the start. Great idea, John. This is for Bingo Square. <laughs> We're a family. Wow. <laughs> Imagine being in the Walton family, like the real one, <laughs> and paying your workers shit. <laughs> Pretty big family. I got to say, I don't think any of my family members have ever fired me. That's quite a big <laughs> Being here. Do you ever get a performance evaluation from your family? Actually, no, I, I that that I do get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think my dad gives me like an annual evaluation. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He doesn't, you know, cut off your email and take away your security card. No, that he doesn't do. Doesn't erase yeah. you from the website. No. Oh man. But the so, allowance yeah. increases, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, your, your guys' family should all unionize. Maybe get some better treatment. <laughs> you know what? It's about time. <laughs> More family unions. Yeah, take down mom and dad. Yeah, I'm uh, going to call the Ewok about this. <laughs> so that's We're a Family. How are you guys doing on the bingo cards? I got yo, three. Three? Ooh, man. There's no way we both win, right? Are, I mean, aren't we all winners in a union? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you unionize, everyone wins. Yeah, but like tonight, I, I kind of just want me to win. I mean, I, I also want to win. So, yeah, this, is, this, is, right, whatever. this is how they break apart, break apart the movement. You know, they start pit, pitting you guys against each other. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're ratting out, you're ratting out Jabari for you clocked in late. You're ratting him out for this oh, and that. You know, it's 100%. I'm already ready to do that. Yeah, um, we, yeah. we, we got to stay solid and, 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 and I quit, quit the game in solidarity. Okay, so let me just show everybody where I'm at. Oh wow! That center. Okay, mine, mine's not quite you know like that, but like. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not. You are not three deep. Well, I got three in on the, on the board. So oh, fuck! Obviously, all of them are on the board. <laughs> what? Anyway, let's just let's wait till we get to five, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think Jabari can pull off what is known as a snake. Bingo. Yeah. It's just yeah. Curls bingo. around. <laughs> yeah. I really thought we were tied. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You guys, ready for our, our fourth clip? It comes from Ellen Harold. Here it is. And speaking of our guests, 
they can also be a target of the unions. Someday, you might come into work and find pickets telling guests to not shop at Target. Or you might read articles about unions threatening to boycott our stores just to scare away our guests and encourage them to shop somewhere else. None of that helps you or any other team member. After all, every one of us depends on our guests for our job. What's up, y'all? Hope you enjoyed wasting 20 seconds of your life watching Homie in the red polo shirt, looking like every stepdad from a 90s movie, uh, talking about how Target guests could be the Target of union pickets that happen outside the store. Now, I feel like he could have chosen a different word other than Target to talk about Target, but I guess that one of the benefits that the company offers is not vocabulary lessons, <laughs> okay? Um, so yeah, the poor customers at Target who want to go to one store to buy a picture frame, knock off Birkenstocks, and a small trampoline would not be able to go in because they're scared. <laughs> this has been the bingo square for if we do that, then our customers will suffer. Ooh. That's just such capitalism. I mean, I'm also at four, too. <laughs> <laughs> they might not all be in the same line. Yeah. But, like, the thing about unions is that we don't all have to be in the same line to be part of yeah. the union. You know what I, you know what I mean? You see what yeah. I, I did there? So Yeah. yeah. Bingo is really a metaphor for life when you think about it. Yeah. I, I would not, agree with that. <laughs> not linear. Not linear at all. All right, four and four. I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying this. It, it, it occurred to me that people, I think, stereotype bingo as a game for old people. But, I, I, but given the current anti-unionization drive in this country, old people won't be able to retire or play in the bingo. So I, I think, I think, I think that, that, that's what we're doing here. If, if we can unionize enough, we can get our free time back and get our, get our asses back to the bingo halls. Yeah, that's why I'm a supporter of unions. For the bingo action. Yeah, totally. that's the big thing that drew me in. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys it's neck and neck sort of depending on how you what your rules are for bingo i mean yeah i got a neck <laughs> you got one, one neck, neck one neck versus one neck it's, it's basically tied <laughs> <laughs> this guy sounds like management <laughs> <laughs> so we go now to our final video it's from a guy i know named jake flores uh, I, I say it, but with total love, uh, Jake Flores looks like a vampire if instead of blood he just drank Tecate. <laughs> Let's roll that clip. Oh, hello there. This poster was spotted in flight attendant and ramp crew break rooms in 2019. This poster right here. It reads... Union dues cost around $700 a year. Subtitle, a new video game system with the latest hits sounds like fun. Put your money towards that instead of paying dues to the union. Delta. Hey, Delta, why don't you, Pokemon, go fuck yourself. <laughs> This is the bingo square for, but union dues are expensive. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I could have heard him do it again. Same. I yeah. Pokemon Go Fuck Yourself is is burned in my memory. Yeah. We, should, we might start saying that to our colleagues. Yes, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> also, the great description of a vampire on Takate. <laughs> I, I say it with love. The man drinks a lot of Tecate. <laughs> it's like, I saw it as soon as you said it. As soon as he came on, I was like, okay, yeah, no, I, I, I see it. So, Django, is now a good or a bad time to announce that I am the winner? I guess it's the best time I can think of. Hello. Boom. Right. Fine. Boom. I'm going I'm to show mine as well. And you know what? Honestly, just Zoran, I support you. I'm happy for you because that's what, that's what solidarity is about. Yeah. This guy sounds like a loser. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Pokemon, go fuck yourself. <laughs> well, unlike Jabari, I'm focused on the issue at hand, which is how much money have we raised? We're looking at $11,424. Woo! So far. Yes. That's a lot of green. That's a lot of green. Yes. That's, according to Delta, like... It's like 80, 80 PlayStations. Yeah, like, yeah, a ton. 
Um, wow. If you have one bingo like me, not lost like Jabari. If you have one like me, email info at workerorganizing.org. Get yourself a sweet Ewok hat. And Django mentioned the possibility of some Ewok sweatsuits. We're going to look into that. Ooh. But uh, Django, it was awesome to meet you. You rock, Django. Nice for having me, guys. Solidarity. Solidarity. Lots of love. Catch you later.